Welcome back everybody. We added again another EVE Online quick tutorial. So if you've been around you probably checked out a few. We checked out targeting, um, how to navigate in space. And now we're talking about your actual HUD, your UI. Now when you first start, it's most likely going to be very bulky. It's just a default setting. So what we could do, you probably see how mine's is everyone's overview is different, their little hut layout. This is how I like mine set up. This took me, this is four years in the making. Uh, I've always changed them. I get different ideas, but this one I'm currently happy with. I've had it for a good six months now. So, but just in general, when you do start, that's one thing you might want to kind of not start on first, but um, once you kind of get the feel for the game, is start playing with it. Because everything is adjustable. It's, this is the most, not a basic game, but everything you think you could do in this game, you most likely can. And that goes the same with your hood. Everything is movable. You can make things bigger, smaller. Every single window that you have on your hood is adjustable. Whatever, however you might like to set it up, how small you would want it, everything is at your disposal. There's very few things that this game does not let you do. Very few. Yeah, so for example, um, a lot of times you might start, you might even have your inventory. A lot of times your inventory might be, might be this big when you start off. That's massive. You can't see too much. This overview might be a little bit bigger. So a lot of times you might be trying to do things and even lock targets. You might be trying to be lock a target, but one of your overviews is kind of hindering its way, which is common. And it's also depending on uh, what size monitor you're playing on. Um, if it's a 720, 1080, 1440, obviously the resolution and everything. Um, like this, this monitor I have right here is a 1440. I also have a 1080. I could organize more on this monitor with my 1440 than I can with my 1080. When I have to play with my 1080, I have a different HUD layout. It's the same, but things are a little bit more, I have to do a few things different because of the spacing. So it's all about the monitor that you're on. And in general, you want to make everything efficient for yourself. You're going to be flying in space. You want to be able to see what you want to see and the size you want to see it. Um, so in general, like for example, this is, this is perfect for me. Um, I don't like things on the bottom. I have my camera here right now. My camera is usually up here in this corner. Um, so when I'm streaming, um, my solar system and stuff isn't being seen. So typically a lot of times, uh, my, uh, my cams up here. So in general, this is how my overview looks in itself. Um, I like things from my left to right. Um, I like my overview. To where I can see all my combat. Hold on, let's see there's combat site here. Okay, yeah, let's go to this combat site. We'll warp in at 60. Okay. I like things on my left and right. Um, I don't like things too high above me. I don't like things too low. I like my bottom empty. I have, I have all my combat information on my right hand sides. I lock in all my information I need for the whole solar system and everything I need to see is right here. Everything on this side is all my information. Um, the combat sites that are in the area, my personal chat for my corporation, my inventory, my little chit chat notepad, my locations, um, my saved bookmarks, and these are my external bookmarks that I have. So you will make your hood how you like. Um, and like I said, everything is movable. Just move things, you expand them however you want. It's not an issue. Uh, you tailor this to your own personal taste. That's the one good thing about Eve. Everything is, you could tailor everything to your liking. Because when you have things organized and how you like, you enjoy the game more. It's a lot better. So this might not be for everyone, but this is how I like it. So once again, and then once you even have your settings, how you want them, you can actually lock the window because sometimes you might be doing these pretty quick in a game. Uh, you can hit the little drop down menu button. It's on all of them. You got the three little dots, kind of like on your phone as well. And you could lock 
window size and position because how I'm moving things right now if you happen to be doing things pretty quick in game or when you get a little bit of lag sometimes you get try to be locking a target then your overview gets just pulled out then you got to pull it back wherever it goes but you can lock your window and size position so now see I can't move it no more I can move this one so if you actually lock them all lock window size and now they won't move no more so once you get everything done how you like it feel free to lock it or you know if you're real careful you don't need to lock it but that is just an option so yeah like I said um, and for your actual um, targeting area you could right click this on your capacitor so center part sorry left click and you can slide it back and forth you can move it anywhere you want now also in this little drop down menu you have your options you can even move this it just says a line to the top is checked you can uncheck it it will go to the bottom and then still you could left click this and slide it around left to right now you can't go up and down with it unfortunately so it'll only go all the way to the bottom or all the way to the top um, personally I like mine's on top that's just me so I'll align my head on the top and there's also li other little cool features in here um, uh, display passive modules uh, I usually don't display passive modules unless I'm doing something else like if I'm um, doing PvP and I'm overheating my modules then yes I will uh, look at my passive modules passive modules are things that are automatically running you cannot click them they do not do anything they're just integrated so a lot of times when it's not something active that I need to click I won't have my passive model passive modules displayed uh, display empty conduits empty slots um, I don't display my empty slots display read about uh, your read about tells you um, for your shield armor and hull your percentages I don't have that on because typically I'm watching Uh, display utility buttons. Utility buttons I use. Uh, those are the ones on the side right here. Uh, utility buttons is, you know, like when you click on certain ones, your tactical overlay. It'll give you a tactical overlay and kilometers on how far things are. Um, scanners. Um, I have my probe scanner up full time, but you can activate your scanners manually here. Uh, I have my directional scanner up here in the corner. That's up full time. My probe scanner is here full time. Um, the other scanners is solar system map and moon probe analyze so um, uh, the other scanner for the solar system map I only use that when I'm scanning but that's right here on my probe scanner so I could just manually click that and that'll show up when I want it actually that should be around about here and then when I'm, since I don't use it all the time I'll just click it and it'll go away or I could have it up and I'll just minimize it downsize it I like said so it's just kind of like a regular computer you could do all the same functions you could collapse um, items uh, you could collapse it down um, you can minimize them etc etc so in general like I said everything is movable in the game adjust your overview and your um, sorry not your overview we'll get to that soon uh, adjust your heads up display as you like it uh, to make it comfortable for you you can see everything and utilize and get what you want out of your settings. All right, y'all, hope you enjoyed. Talk to you soon.